Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tara, a farmer from Northern California, and, and this channel is mainly about farming, but sometimes it's not. So, I'm pretty sure I have shared that I have two goats and a llama in my previous videos, but today I've got someone coming out to help me worm them and uh, do some other things. So we're gonna get them penned up so they're easy access. Got, got a little alfalfa for them. Hi, baby. What you doing? You guys hungry? A little snackish? Mm-hmm. Excuse me. So I have this huge, hi, pancake. I have this huge chicken coop I got that sadly I never used for chickens. Um, but I'm gonna put this in here. And the goats will come in. Come on, goats. Well, that's probably a lot more than they need. Pancake's like, what the heck, man? Come on. That's waffles. That's maple. I'm walking you guys in. See you in a No, 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 no. You stay in there. No. <laughs> Here you go, pancake. You want it? She's like, what the heck? Okay, so we have Lily in here. She's helping me because I am not a good goat mom. <laughs> You're fine. So she's gonna deworm the babies. Yep, so they are due for a worming. Yeah, how We're often should they give. actually be wormed? Uh, it just kind of depends on how many animals you have. Like with your pasture, they're probably, you know, when they're grazing, They'll, they're more likely to eat parasites off the ground. You know, at least once a year. Once a year. So I just need Usually to put it on right my calendar. Now, right, right now is when all the parasites are like starting to go into full bloom. Yeah. It's warm. It's the war right weather yes. for it, huh? Yeah. Oh, 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 you're good. You're good. That wasn't so bad after all, was it? No. <laughs> wasn't so bad. Woo! Okay, we had to wrangle these guys. I thought they were going to be a little bit easier on us. Uh, so that was Lillian from Lillian Barefoot. She was amazing. She vaccinated both the goats. She cleaned up their hooves. And she gave them the dewormer. So awesome. So she is out of the Rio Vista area. So if you're in the Sacramento River Delta or the Rio Vista area and you need help with your goats or horses, definitely give her a call. And I'll link her Instagram in the description below. All right, we're back on the farm. Today, we are going to run the Performer, which is made by Wilcox Ag. We got hooked up to the new tractor. Let's head out to the field. I had Francisco, mainly Francisco, running the disc. So we got everything disc down nice. The disc just doesn't quite do it for me. Um, it does leave a little hump in the middle and it leaves it pretty chunky. I got this performer, it's from Wilcox Ag. They make pretty amazing implements and it is just, it just does a beautiful job. So you can see it's got these shanks in the front and then this little blade roller and these ring rollers in the back and it just breaks everything up really nice. So I just hit this row once, probably the whole vineyard's gonna hit, be hit twice, but you can see it looks pretty nice and smooth already. Here's a row I haven't done. I know it's hard to see through video, but this one is definitely chunkier and there is a little bit of a mound in the middle. So it just as a beautiful finish. We also have an exciting thing happening in the vineyard right now, just barely starting. The vineyard is starting to bloom. So you can see these little guys right here. So we're, we're getting there pretty soon. These, these outside rows have a little bit more. I mean, these outside vines. We are getting there, guys. This is the next step. And this is when the grapes start pollinating.
Ooh, it is getting windy, but we have to go over and grease and oil the pump. So we're gonna, I'm gonna do that right now. Probably the worst time of day to do it, to be honest, because there's commuter traffic. But uh, I'll just wait till it's safe to walk over. This quick the oil is really full which makes me worried that it wasn't even using it so I'm gonna open it up here and just let it run for a few seconds and then I'll bring it back All right, and that's that, so that was easy. A little worried that the oil was so full, but that's why it's so critical to basically come and check on this thing every 24 hours that it's running. All right, I hope the audio on this turns out, guys, because I'm just using my phone. Uh, I'm not using the GoPro with the fancy mic, but I wanted to show you guys um, the guy who helps me out a lot, his name is Matt. He's doing the bloom spray for me tonight. So he's got his tractors and his sprayers. Um, I get to skip dusting when he does sprays like this. He only does a couple a year, but since we're in bloom, he'll, uh, there they are. He'll put the bloom spray on and I'll get to skip a week of dusting, which is nice. Are you inspecting it? What's it look like? <laughs> you still have one. Yeah. It's just funny that he's coughing. Back home collecting eggs. These two ladies think they want babies. I'm sorry, ladies. It's just, it's just not in the cards this year. I already got one. All right, let's go see how many eggs have been eaten today. All right, nothing in here. Not surprised. They always seem to lay in the other coop. How's it going? So it looks like we've got a couple couple of eggs but there was obviously minimum of one broken here a couple over here there's an eaten one we've got a few good ones where they're actually supposed to be oh look another one that's exciting looks like i got a fairy egg how you doing in there mommy any babies yet oh i Wait, wait, did I hear chirping or am I making that up? No babies yet. I could have swore I heard chirping. Uh, not the best, but not the worst. 